The school year is over and during the summer, many of the classroom lessons learned may begin to fade away. But in a few main schools, the graduating eighth graders learn some things that will remain in memory for a long time to come. 207's Don Kerrigan is here with that story. Don? Hey, Rob, I didn't have to travel very far for, <laughs> no, the, for, this, for this assignment <laughs> because in my hometown of South Bristol, in the same school where I graduated more than 60 years ago, the eighth grade year is so special that parents in some other towns look to send their own kids to that school. That's because the eighth graders spend much of the year building boats. The eighth grade at the South Bristol School got in one final practice for graduation. But for these eight kids, the march they'll remember was the one to the town dock, where they were about to celebrate the crowning achievement of grade school launching the boats they've been building for the whole year. This is a, a really deeply rooted in the culture of South Bristol and in the whole main coast for that matter. It all started 27 years ago as a way to teach kids in this small town they can do big things and that classroom lessons have a purpose. And we're thinking, we're really gonna build a boat? Is it gonna float? Like, we have no idea what we're doing. Um, but it was amazing, because we got to learn the skills that we were learning in math class. We got to apply while building a boat. In 1996, Amanda Sykes and four others were the first South Bristol eighth grade to build boats. It was great because it, I was the only girl in my class and they ended up surprising me and naming the boat after me. Now Amanda teaches here in the same school and has fond memories of her launch day. And we made a boat and we got in it and it floated and we <laughs> rode out into the gut and um, it was great. And it's been great for all those other eight grades since, using math to figure angles and dimensions, learning to use the tools to trust their hands to be precise and do it right. I could never build a boat. Did you think that? Yeah. I didn't think I'd be able to build anything, but. <laughs> yeah, most of us didn't, but with the right um, teachers and like the right attitude, we, we did it just fine. I mean, you yeah. can see that right here. The teaching came from staff and volunteers at the Maine Maritime Museum. So Chris and Ben, Lila and Grace, Kaya, Camilla, Eva and Josh, are the latest to carry on this town tradition. We both worked on doing the longitudinals and in whales and the seats for the boat, and that took a while to do. And, and we had to do sanding. a lot of coats. Sanded yeah, the and the sanding, like sanded the whole boat, and it took a while. I never thought I had the skills to like yeah. build anything like on my own or anything. I mean, it's yeah. a boat. It, it looks, yeah, it's like such a big thing. You're yeah. like, yeah. wow, how, how could I possibly make even something do this big? But then you do it. Yeah, it was fun to build the boat, but also learning along the way was amazing and I will never forget this. Yeah, very, yeah. Yeah, very amazing. Cool. In this fishing town where boats are a way of life and where the community loves launch day, Principal Chuck Ham says the boats teach many lessons. They learn how to work with their minds, their hands and their hearts and they learn teamwork. And that's, that's above and beyond everything else that we do. I think that's a really great message that they take They'll take that with them for the rest of their life. Get four and four, bring somebody else over on this side. So one more time, all their hands work together. So turn it around, bow off hill now, please. Don't scratch the boat. So lift it up, hold on to it, and we want to set it right about there. Center the boat up. Good to go, kiddos, nice job. Then, on graduation day, a little pomp and circumstance. The class of 2023 is forever part of this long-held tradition in the state of Maine, and we're so proud of all of you. And from one young builder, a message to their elders. Please guide us as we navigate unfamiliar waters. Protect us from unseen dangers. And above all, be our anchor in the storm. And then... I christen thee Kermit the Frog. Finally, after a long year, it's time. Boys in one boat, girls in the other. Their work now put to the ultimate test in the harbor. And just like that, like eighth grade graduation, they were off. A little unsteady, perhaps. Rowing, like living, takes practice. So a helping hand is sometimes welcome. And with classes of future boat builders looking on, the South Bristol Eight had to show off a little. Yeah!
This is what teamwork accomplishes. We worked as a team and now we have two boats. A few hours later, they all dressed up and marched for graduation. But this surely will be the memory. Take it from their teacher who built that first boat and whose daughter last year became a second generation builder. My sister was five years behind me and she went on to be an engineer and worked at Electric Boat. And she was like, the skills I learned at Maine Maritime Museum's boat building program was just, you know, I didn't know then, but I went into the field. They won't all become engineers or boat builders, of course, but that's not the point. The South Bristol kids have seen what they can do with learning and guidance and commitment. Their future will offer plenty of challenges, but there's an old saying, a ship in the harbor is safe. But that's not what ships were built for. Life is waiting. Still kids, of course, but like their boats, they have been launched. Wish they'd had that program when I went to school. Uh, what happens to the boats, you wonder? One of them is given back to the Maine Maritime Museum. They auction it off to raise money. And Rob, the other boat each year is raffled off by the school to raise the money for the next year's boat building project. Do you know how, uh, how much money they've tended to raise in the you last know, few years? I, I mean, they buck a ticket. I bet, they, I bet they've raised several thousand anyway. They, every year they get some of my money. I haven't gotten a boat yet. <laughs> <laughs> Keep buying those tickets, Don. Yeah, I will. Excellent story. Thank you.